have you folks. It's Tank Oscar Mike. Uh, it is the warmest it's going to be today. So right now it's about 22 degrees. And as you can see, uh, we still have snow on the ground. It's frozen, it's very icy. Um, but, oh, there's bunny tracks. Look, uh, if you can see, there's little bunny tracks. So I need to take the antenna down um, so I can set it back up on Friday. Uh, winter field day rules say that you can't have the antenna up. Uh, you can't start your setup before Friday at like 2 o'clock, something like that. So I need to take this down, move it, and then uh, that way I'll be able to use it for field day. Uh, at least that's the plan. Now, uh, before I get started here, somebody's going to notice that I'm wearing Carhartt, this Carhartt suit I have, and uh, object to it uh, with Carhartt's recent decision uh, by their CEO to require everyone to be vaccinated or they're going to get laid off. Um, I bought this Carhartt suit uh, six, seven years ago. If I burn this suit or cut the labels off, it will not affect Carhartt in any way. Um, and Carhartt as a private company, I, I believe I'm a patriot and I believe in people's rights. Uh, Carhartt as a private company, they have the right to do whatever they want to do. And you have the right not to shop there. Uh, but I'm not going to throw this gear out. Uh, it served me well. Um, I know people were burning it and you know, say they'll never wear it again or whatever. Like I said, uh, I could, whatever I do to this gear will not affect Carhartt in any way. Um, uh, now, going forward in the future, will I buy Carhartt uh, gear? Probably not. Um, I, I respect their right to do whatever they're right. Just like I respect your right to not want to get the vaccine or somebody else's right who wants to get the vaccine everybody's different and uh, i wouldn't be too quick to judge you don't know carhartt uh, you don't know their ceo maybe they have a bunch of older people that work at the company with health problems and maybe that was his concern you know maybe you know maybe he really does care about his employees uh that are susceptible to it you know i, I don't know uh, until you're actually in those shoes, you don't know the decisions that somebody will make. Um, so, uh, again, uh, time will tell and will be seen. But uh, Carhartt's been a pretty good company up to this point. Um, I hate to see that uh, everybody throw their stuff out or whatever. But um, uh, going forwards is how you make the difference. Uh, but not uh, burning your old stuff. That's just To me, that's just wasteful. Um, and kind of kind of silly because you're really not affecting anybody. You're not hurting anybody. You're not uh, punishing the company by burning their stuff. You're just hurting yourself in your own pocketbook, which is kind of silly. So, but I need to take this down now. Uh, when I put it up, uh, I had to have help because I put the Yagi together as I put it up, and my plan to take it down is to take parts of the Yagi apart. Uh, to make it lighter and a little bit, it's not so much heavy, um, but when you have all those parts on there, there's a lot of mass, and when it twists and turns, it's hard to maneuver. So I'm going to rotate it, take the one side off, lower it down, um, and then uh, lower it down, take one side off, crank it back up enough so it'll rotate, rotate it back around, take the other side off, and hopefully I can take it all down by myself. With, uh, without too much effort and uh, but yeah that's my plan for today so uh, I don't know how long this GoPro battery is going to last um, I have another one coming my other battery actually is damaged it actually puffed up and uh, so I can't use it it doesn't hold a charge anymore so I can't use it at all so I only have one battery so we'll see what we can do uh, Augie's running around trying to keep warm uh, that's exactly what he's doing so let me get the rotator hooked up and see if I can't get this rotated and then I can lower it down. And the ground's solid. I was hoping I could stick this in the ground to hold the camera, but it might not stay. 
looks a little crooked. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to lock it off right there. Um, my plan is to take this section out, like right here at the split, and that section. Um, and then I'll probably even drop this part off, and then I'll rotate it around and get the other half. Um, but I do want to go get my tape, and I do want to mark this. As you can see in the past, they inserted this the whole way up to here. But according to the measurements in the manual I have, that's all the further it should be mounted in. So I want to put a piece of tape here um, just so I know where I'm out. It may not stick because of how cold it is, but I want to go get the tape and do that and, uh, and then work on the rest of it. I think the biggest problem I'm going to have is the coax is frozen to the ground. Uh, the coax and the control line are actually frozen into the ground and pull, I got to pull them out. Uh, I might not be able to get them out, but I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to try. But I'm going to go get my tape. I'm going to shut the GoPro down and put it in my pocket for now. Um, because I think the cold is going to kill the battery real fast as the battery cools down. So I'm going to go get my tape so I can do the marking. And then um, keep working. Okay, quick update. I got the ends marked and I got part of the boom taken apart except for the center section right there. Um, so now I'm going to lower it down uh, a bit further so I can set up the ladder and get the bolts to unbolt the mast. And hopefully I can take that whole piece off and then I can take that part a piece apart, lower it down even more, get the rotator off. And then it's just a matter of getting the cables and stuff cleaned up and um, getting from there so uh, that's where I'm at right now so it's going uh, I think this might be hard to do putting it back up in the reverse order because you'd have to hold the the boom up uh, and put the elements on it while you're holding it up and tightening them down I think that might be a little tough but uh, I don't know I guess we'll see when Friday comes but uh, it's cold out I did get some new gloves I got these new gloves they're uh, made by smart wool they are wool uh, and they are, they do feel warmer than the synthetic, real thin synthetic glove liners I was wearing. Uh, but my hands are still cold. So, but uh, I'm going to keep working again. I'm going to put the GoPro back in my coat uh, so I don't kill the battery with the cold. Baby, it's cold outside. Try to put on my glove and throw it right in the snow. There we go. This one. That one doesn't want to move yet. Oh, sweet. 
There it goes. So that's off. Okay, rotator's off. Um, I gotta get the legs up. Okay, so I got the trailer all taken down. I got it hooked up to the ATV. I had to get the correct ball on the ATV. Um, I haven't tried moving it yet, but I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be able to go forward. I might have to back it up and then try going this way. It's still very icy and just with the ATV itself, I'm spinning, uh, just going across the yard trying to move. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna take the wheel chocks out see if I can go forward if not I'll try to back up and then go that way so let's see what happens let me lower this Yeah, there was no way I was going forward. Uh, there's this little dry patch here. Maybe if I can get some momentum. I want to take the trailer over that way, so we'll see. Augie's playing with his ball, waiting for me. Let's see if we can go. The trailer's moved. I guess I should face with the sun behind me here. Okay, the trailer's moved. Um, it's over across the yard, which I think is good enough. 
uh, come Friday uh, for field day if I want to use the trailer again I got to get it back over here I can pretty much set it up in the exact same spot put it all back together <laughs> And then use it for the weekend. Uh, I know that seems like a lot of work. We've been out here for a while already. But um, hey, that's what it is if you want to use something this big. I'm shocked that I was able to get the... I was shocked at the, the ATV, which we call Big Red. Now, Big Red's only a 400. We've had Big Red since 2007 and uh it's a yamaha big bear this thing's been a tank um i plow with it i uh log with it you can see some logs over there some trees down over there in the woods that need to be pulled out um we haul stuff uh it, it does a, a lot so i gotta give big red credit but uh yeah big red was chewing but uh, we got it across the yard and got it turned around. It can sit there until we need it. It's not going to go anywhere. So now I can take the ladder down, use the ATV to take the ladder up, and we're done. We're done for the day. So uh, that was pretty productive. Actually, I'm not done for today. I need to work on my uh, snowblower. Uh, it's not working right, so i got to work on that. But, yeah. So now I, I feel better. Everybody's telling me... Uh, Oh, don't take the antenna down. Who cares? Nobody cares about the rules for field day. You know, the rules say you can't set up until 2 o'clock on Friday, I believe. I I care about the rules. I'm that type of person. So, um, but it's it's done. And uh, now we can uh, feel good about it if we use it on field day. And uh, we'll see what happens. But, hey. Oh, let's get the ladder down. Let's go. been out enough. He's probably getting cold. Huh. You getting cold? What are you doing, bud? Come here. Come here, see daddy. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You gonna sit on daddy as usual? Yeah, uh, you can sit on daddy. Well, this is my uh, video evidence that I took the antenna mast down, the antenna trailer down, and, uh, it's not pre-set up before field day um, but yeah that's it we're uh, gonna clean up a couple more things and then we're gonna be heading inside so i hope you enjoyed the video this is tango oscar mike and augie saying 73 take care you ready to go in tango oscar mike